Hey, Craig. Let's get into some coffee talk. Hey, I love it. I love doing some coffee talk. Well, you know, talk about what? Dogs, daughters, whatever. It's coffee talk. Coffee talk. Oh, Mr. Craig. Mm. It's a coffee talk. What are we going to talk about? Coffee talk. Dogs. Your little crying emoji you just put on there. You're a little hangry right now. A little hangry, Craig. (laughs) A little hangry. Craig, I wanted to go, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about leadership. Mm. What do you think about that? Mm. It's a subject I love to talk about. It's a good one. It's a good one. And um, I I actually, um, agent, and I used to be like this. I used to be the agent that when somebody came in, this is kind of what a lot of people like. It's yeah. like, well, when you prove yourself to me, then I'll buy you leads and I'll put more. Where, where are you going, Craig? Uh, it keeps freezing up. I'm going to go closer to the, closer to the Wi-Fi. We have to get a, our Wi-Fi changed up around here. Oh, we got to do that sometimes. I'm going to sit on the. I'm sitting on the floor in the kitchen, in my office. <laughs> I don't Coming even know where I was. Um, oh yeah, yeah. The prove yourself to me concept, and I and uh-huh. I feel like a lot of agents have that mentality, like prove yourself to me. They do, but I don't know if that's great leadership. Aren't you supposed to lead by example? Yeah. Well, that's the saying. I mean, I came into it with that, with that mindset too, and I have since changed that. Right. Um, you know, I always say the Darth Vader leadership, right? It doesn't work. Yeah. I, I came in coming from Merrill Lynch, in my hand, you know, all day long, you know, whatever, five hundred dials grinding 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 it's just you know whether it's a different world now or um or it's just 2020 um regardless it's it doesn't work you know and and i know that it was i grinded but and it was a struggle it's like it could have it could have been so much better if if there was actually a leader when um you know when i was younger and going through that grind like there was no it was just like figure it out Right. And hardly mm-hmm. any. Well, there was Internet. So there was stuff to read, but and boards and, and that kind of thing. But it was like you have to figure it out. And, and a lot of people don't. Well, how did that make figure you feel? It out. Pretty alone, alone on an island, Mr. Jason. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to, to figure it out. Right. No, it's like. It's like it's like that dad syndrome that some people get where it's like, oh, I, I had a truck through the snow, so you got to be a man and deal with this. It's like, uh, yeah, but it's like, dude, did you like doing that? Well, no. Well, then why the heck would you make your kid do that? Like, what, what do you like? I don't know. It's the rite of passage or something, right? Yeah. I don't like that mentality. I'm not a very yeah. dude, dude, dude like that. Like, I don't have that in me. I I always question stuff. And, and I just don't mm. understand why people have that kind of mentality. I don't think if you look at it this way, I want the best result, right? Mm-hmm. Well, then get the best result out of your people. Don't set them up for, like, a failure type thing. Because, like, let's say half the people don't work out with your, with your you know, prove yourself concept. Dude, how much did you just spend hiring that person, having them figure it out, and then they're gone? Not to mention mm-hmm. the morale in the office and everything else that goes along with that. That's not a culture that I would want to be a part of. Right. Well, the audio is off. You there? I am here, Mr. Craig. I'm waiting oh. for your words of wisdom. Oh. <laughs> Um, like, uh, like Grant bought said, right. We've had him on the show and, and his whole thing is about culture. I mean, he gives out and I was, you know, I was up in the middle of the night thinking, cause you're always thinking right about this stuff. And, um, I was thinking about how he gives unlimited vacation and I thought it has to work. 
Otherwise, he wouldn't give unlimited vacation, right? Otherwise, so mm. it, it, here's the, here's what can happen. Here's the outcome of that, right? Everybody never comes in and they say, I have unlimited vacation, right? But if they did that, then clearly you can't have them here. So I think that it, it, it it's almost this reverse psychology, right? Here, you can take off as much as you want, but they're going to feel bad if they do. And and so in mm-hmm. the same way, if 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 you bring it, like, like it doesn't mean lead by example doesn't mean you're out there writing policies, but it, but it at least means, well, maybe you are when you're the beginning of the whole thing, but it at least means you're coming in, you're helping to train, you're, you're supporting them, right? You're giving them support from the leadership potential. And, and, and Hey, maybe it's not you, maybe now you've grown enough where you can hire somebody that can do that, but you have to provide the tools, right? You can't say, go be a carpenter, but use your hands the whole time and put all the stuff together over here. Because I had to, right? That, okay, great. That, what did you teach, right? And to your point and the cost, like I could, like my team that I have now, since I've really gone into the Jason framework or mindset of um, not making them, you know, the non Darth Vader approach, I haven't had turnover. Like they're, mm-hmm. they're here, right? They, they're all here it's on them i provide training i provide the resources they get hundreds of leads a day they have telemarketers like you couldn't get a better they have the uh, the highest base in, the, in tucson like you couldn't get a better here you go right and we're going to teach you everything then than what they have so they'd be crazy if they want to be in this business to go anywhere else the only other place is to go to a call center which may pay more but there's a trade-off there yeah, and then you provide the culture that allows them to feel free and not want to be a part of that kind of thing. So you're providing them more value than they're providing you. Well, not necessarily, but you're providing them with a. You're leading by providing them with value instead of saying, mm-hmm. "I'm not going to give you value until you prove yourself." You, until you provide the value to me then I'll provide mm-hmm. value to you. You're not doing that. Right. You're providing them value and they're providing you value. That's a good yeah. relationship, right? It's not a yeah. it's not a take a take then I'll give relationship. And, it's a it's a good take. I'm, yeah, and I'm always looking and I know you are too, right? I, I always have I have a, a a virtual assistant that is like that looks at the ads, does the whole thing, right? Runs the the hiring part of it. Um and back before COVID, we had the the, the team hired thing going, you know, and now we're not doing that so much because we're just working the leads on indeed or whatever. But, um, you know, so you always are trying to fill that pipeline because you never know if you're going to find somebody. And I haven't played, I haven't had somebody new come on in a while just because nobody good has come along. Right. And nobody's made it right. for three, four interviews. So the other part is, is not getting in that cycle of, okay, you're Darth Vader. They don't like it. They leave. Now I got to scramble to find somebody. I scramble to find somebody. They suck because I made concessions, right? It, it's it's like okay, we got the right team. We got the right culture. We're not bringing in somebody that's going to rock the boat. A- and if we do, then it's on me. So we go super slow now, super slow. I've had somebody go through four, and then say, yeah, it's not a hundred percent on it, and I'm not going to do it unless it's hundred percent. And we all and everybody votes. And if one person says no, then it's, well. Wow. Love it. Yeah. Because you're going to rock that, you're going to rock that boat. You Don't they say about rock cancer? that boat. It's cancerous. No. That cancer. Oh, yes. They do say that, Craig. Mm-hmm. It's like brain COVID in your office. Everybody gets sick all of a sudden. Right. Don't do it. You know what? Don't, don't do it. So leadership begins with you and it begins with that first impression you make on your staff and Mm -hmm. everything else. It's kind of hard to flip an opinion back, right? Kind of like on a sale. It's kind of hard to recoup once you lost the the trust or the, Mm -hmm. you know, the whatever. It's been a long day, Mr. Craig. Let's go with that. Just look. Oh, really? Yeah, do it. Do it. One more thing. One more thing. Drop it. Say, Drop it like it's hot. The leadership 
it, it like you said, it, it all comes down to the leader, him or herself. And what you see a lot, and in a, you know, on the internet or wherever you talk to people, you hear people complaining, right? Oh, my staff, oh, this. But they're complaining, they're trying to, they're making up excuses about everybody else when at the end of the day, it's your business. If shit isn't working, it's because of you. And right. I think understanding that, like, okay, it's falling apart. Like you, you changed some stuff and, and some, and it got a little wonky and you're not writing as much and you didn't start going, well, it's, you know, their fault. It's their fault. It's like, did I do the right thing? You know, it's like, you think about it and it's like, Hey, look, if, if things go sideways, it's my fault. If things are going great, then I give them credit. But when it's going sideways, I know at the end of the day, it's, it's the dude looking in the mirror in the morning. It's, it's, it's my fault. And, you know, it's the man in the mirror. Yeah. Um, you know, and yeah. it's, it's critical to, to be able to put the ego to the side. Kill the ego. The ego Kill has it. no place in this, in this freaking place. It doesn't do anything. Oh, oh, the best. Oh, my decision is final and right. It's like, it does, why? Why? Ego is a virus. Yeah, it is. And it's like everybody wants to be right. But it, it doesn't matter if you're right. It matters if you're effective. It matters if you put the right things in place. It matters if you take responsibility. You know, there's so many things happening in the real world right now. Is, is it this? Is it this? Who knows? Well, what do you ultimately you got to look at the outcome what is your outcome what are you trying to do you know like the, the people call the, the the clients call they complain about something and it's like you don't need to get in this pissing match about the how just say look what's your what do you want what's your outcome what did you expect what are your expectations we'll solve for that i'm gonna sit here this happened then uh, you know what what do you ex what is your expectation of what should happen and then let's work backwards. Rant over. I love it. Love it. Truth. Truth. But are truth, you truth looking bomb. at the man in the mirror? Let's, we got to drop that song. I'm going to listen to that after this. I'm in the mirror. I'm asking him. To, I'm asking him to change his ways, Mr. Craig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we lost a good one. We lost Michael. That's a good one. We did. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it's a bad one. Uh, who knows? I don't know. You did go to his house. Right. I literally did don't know. And this is a true story. I'm at this crossroads in my life where I don't know what's true and what's not anymore. No. There's... I could see something happen on the street and still be unsure if it actually happened. Yeah. I, could, I mean, is this just a big, are we just in a dream? <laughs> I don't know. If we are, we are the best insurance podcast in that dream. <laughs> so thank you for listening. You, the, the listener. <laughs> and that will be a coffee talk. Coffee, coffee talk. Hey, you've got to check out the Insurance Dudes Inner Circle coming soon where you get extended interviews as well as live coffee talks in our private Facebook group. Join the mailing list today at theinsurancedudespodcast.com. Hey, thanks for checking out the Insurance Dudes. Hey, please subscribe. We got some really great stuff coming out.